Hi there and welcome to a quick overview of the Mission Control Project Management Solution. It is built natively on Salesforce and comes with all of the tools that you need to be able to effectively manage your projects directly within your own Salesforce CRM system. So the demo we're looking at today is in the Lightning experience, but it also works in Salesforce Classic if you, uh, if you prefer to use that user interface. So what we're looking at here is the Mission Control Console. This gives us quick launch access to all of the key parts of the project management tool. What we can do is select any existing uh, solution, any existing projects uh, stored within Mission Control, and we can jump into any key parts of the system. So we can jump into the project overview. We can do a deep clone of the project, its milestones and its actions. We can create new actions for a project. We can also push the whole uh, project out if we need to reschedule it, and we can also jump into the Gantt chart and the resource capacity planning schedule scheduler. So let's jump in and take a look at the project overview for, for our project here. So the core objects within Mission Control are the project, and that project can have multiple milestones, and then each milestone can have multiple actions. Underneath each action, you're able to log the time that you've been spending working on progressing that action to completion. So what we're looking at here is the project overview. This gives us full financial details at the project level. We're able to track uh, hours, material costs, expenses, and we can get a full visibility of the P&L situation at a scheduled actual and forecast position. So carrying on down, we can see our burn down chart. Uh, we can see any, uh, any risks that are logged on the risk matrix. If we carry on moving down, we can see the Gantt chart. We're able to reschedule, uh, reassign, and, uh, and drag and drop just to, to simply reschedule things on the, on the Gantt chart. So we're also able to export that Gantt chart. So if we're looking to provide uh, the client with, a, with an indication of the schedule that we're going to be working to, we can click on the export to PDF button and that will export a copy of that Gantt chart that can be then saved locally and provided uh, to anyone outside of mission control. Moving on down on the on the project overview page, we continue uh, with that 360 degree visibility of the project. We can see our milestones and the actions assigned within that milestone. So we can see who they're assigned to, what their status is, the start and end dates, and the hours that are scheduled, completed, and remaining. So we get a good indication of, uh, of, of where, we're, where we're at with each individual action. Moving on down, we get our risk log and our expenses. So what we're also able to do, if I jump back to the back to the console, we're able to actually uh, look at, um, we, as I mentioned earlier, we can uh, do a deep clone of the entire project. So if we've got a, a similar process that we need to initiate a new project for, we can jump on and grab an existing project, click on the clone button, and that will allow us to quickly create a brand new project from a, from a given template. So if I now look at the scheduler, we, uh, we're able to look at the scheduler and use that as a resource capacity planning tool. So what I have here is the ability to look at any role that there's assigned actions on projects on the left-hand side, and I can look at a, a window. So I'm looking at a three-week window here, but I can easily uh, pull that back to, to one week, two weeks. I can push that right out to 12 weeks. So I'm able to see the capacity of all of my, uh, all of my project resources and exactly how they're doing against their, their allocation. So for each individual person, I'm able to see how many hours they're allocated over this three-week period and how many uh, hours have actually been put to them. So we can see their capacity and their allocation. If someone's actually over allocated, like in this instance, what we're able to do is drag and drop those and reschedule and make that capacity available and then um, and also utilize someone else's uh, availability. So other key tools within Mission Control, uh, we've got a we've got a weekly timesheet. So we're able to actually per person look at what has been assigned to us this week. We can see how many hours we uh, we've been scheduled, how many hours we actually complete. So if I need to log some time, I can quickly do that by just putting in the numbers of the hours that I've spent working on individual actions. 
So we also operate a, a timesheet approval system if it's required, where you can have two levels of, uh, of approval, and that's specified on a per project basis. So as I actually log the time, you can see that the hours are going up for each individual day, and I'm getting a summary for the week as well. I can also double click into any of these entries and put in some comments around what I've actually been doing. Looking further on uh, with, with some additional features, um, we're able to take a look at the whiteboard. So the whiteboard is a, is a Kanban style user interface that shows us all of our actions displayed on a virtual whiteboard as if they were stu stuck on a as if there were individual sticky notes stuck to a whiteboard in the office. So I'm able to look at this, I'm able to filter this down to a particular project. I can see the individual person that's assigned responsibility of the action, the action that it, uh, they're responsible for, the milestone and project that they relate to, and then how many hours they've been scheduled and completed. So to be able to log time on any of these actions, I can simply click on the clock button that will pop up a, a new window and I'm able to put in the hours, any material costs, the notes, whether it's non-billable or overtime and I can specify the completion percentage. That automatically gets logged against the project and will, uh, will account for towards the pro uh, project's financials. At a high level, uh, if we want to look at how our projects are performing, we can take a look at the PMO dashboard. So this gives us a real eagle eye view of how our projects are performing at both a cost and schedule perspective. So we can load in a master, a master date to review and a comparison date if we want to as well. So we're able to drill down. So we get the high level indicators of, um, of our CPI, which are our cost performance index, and our SPI, which is our schedule performance index. So that lets us know how our projects are performing at a real high level. So ultimately, we're wanting them to be uh, one or above. Um, one means they're running exactly to cost, and one uh, one for the SPI means we're running exactly to schedule. So anything below that, we give you an indicator, and you're able to drill down into the individual projects, milestones, and actions to see the individual CPI and SPI data for each individual action. So. Back on the console, what we're also able to do is create new roles. We're able to create a role for anybody that's going to take um, ownership of uh, actions within a project. You're able to assign uh, skills and uh, skills, pro so you're able to manage a skills profile for that person, and you're also able to assign them to teams. So there's a number of different um, features that we can uh, access directly from the Mission Control Console. So we can initiate a new project here. So we can quickly put in a, a project name, and we can add in as many milestones as we need to, to get our project going. So we've, once we've got our project and our three milestones, we can create that framework, and then we'll be able to actually go ahead and fill in a few more details around the project. So we can specify things like, um, you know, is it a fixed price project? Is it a uh, time and materials project? What the what the billable rates are? What the um, what the cost rates are, and so on. So you can see here, I've got my uh, project created now. So I can go through, I can specify billing rates, cost rates. So you know, how much are we being billed out to the client for? How much are we paying our staff to do the work? Are we able to ca uh, categorize overtime? Is this a non-billable project? Do we need um, timesheet approvals? So all of this information can be edited simply by clicking on the edit button here. This will pull up the edit page, and we can put in as much or as little information as we need to. So as I mentioned, I can indicate that it's a fixed price project, what the budget is for the project, um, you know, what the standard, so I can calculate the billing rates, whether it's a standard rate, so that means regardless of who's doing the work, will all be applied uh, at, the same, at the same day rate. Or we can use a role-based one, so if we've got people with different levels of uh, pay grade working on the project, we'll get a more accurate cost of, uh, of, of what we're being billed out at. 
So in this example, I'll leave it as standard and I'll choose to say we're being billed out at $1,200 a day. And then from a cost rate, so how much are we, you know, how much payroll do we need to incur? We're going to be paying $800 a day. So from there, what I can do is then initiate my um, my project, uh, so I can I can create some actions against that project. What I'm able to do is go ahead, uh, create as many actions as I want. So I can add new actions to the list, and as they once they're created, I can go through, put in the the action name, who it's assigned to. How long they're going to have to do it and when I need them to do it. So I can carry on filling in the rest of the detail. Once I've done that I'll create those and then I'll have those actions assigned to that project and I'll be able to then start working on the project. So back on our example, if we take a look at our um, project overview, we would have a, uh, the, the complete overview where we can actually look at the, the entire project from end to end, who's responsible for what, how much have we got allocated. And we're back on the Gantt chart there as well. So what we're able to do is manage the end to end project. Um, you know, we're able to um, create our milestones, we can manage milestone budgets and deadlines, we can create our actions, who's assigned the uh, responsibility for delivering those actions, how many hours have been spent doing that work, how many expenses, you know, how much expense has been logged against that project. We can progress them uh, from plan to in progress uh, via the whiteboard and we can access our resource scheduler. So ultimately, as I mentioned, Mission Control gives us the, the, the full project management solution to manage all of our business projects within salesforce.com. We also offer a 14-day trial, so if you would like to take advantage of that, feel free to just go to the App Exchange, click the Get It Now button, and you'll be able to start your own Mission Control trial directly within your own Salesforce CRM system. Any questions, please feel free to get in touch. I hope you like what you've seen. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yeah.